The former leader of the House of Representatives, Mulikat Adiola Konde, says education is the best gift for the girl child to prepare her for the future and leadership, especially in Nigeria. Akonde was speaking at the launch of a book she'd uttered entitled Driven by Passion in commemoration of her 60th birthday. The occasion was graced by top politicians, former and serving governors, ministers and lawmakers. This is the second book of Mulikat Adeola Akonde, a Nigerian politician and former leader of the House of Representatives revealing her struggles in politics and how she broke barriers with elections for intended female politicians. As a politician, you need to let people know how you have manipulated, how you have been doing certain things over the years. And then my experience is basically, I need a people to know. And I want it to be part of my legacy. All the sacrifices you made for us, I pray that you live long to reap the fruit of your labor. Top politicians, including former speakers of the House of Representatives, Amin Tambua, now governor of Sokoto State, Patricia Ete, and Emeka Ihejoha, all attested to Mulikat Alkonde's hard work and immense contribution to the legislature in Nigeria. A great personality, a great woman, a woman of herself, very patient, very painstaking. Mulikat is an example of. Uh, a child who was well trained and took time uh, to develop herself and she her pieces as they came. And today she's a celebrity in our country. The lessons you learn from people like her is, you know, she has such a huge heart. Um, she was such a bridge builder. Ensuring education for the girl child as a means of safeguarding her future was stressed by the dignitaries present. For me again, she represents the girl child education that I've been trying to fight for. Pray that the entire family should continue to be a role model. Before we continue, we'll highlight of the event was the cutting of our condensed chef birthday cake. Okay, you make me. News, Abuja. Nigeria has recorded 212 new cases of COVID-19 in the last 